Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Paper Lion. It's Gypsy. Thank you uh, for being here with me this morning. I'm trying to get some things done. Normally, my videos are going to be coming out between Monday and Tuesday, but this week, I guess, is kind of special because I'm working on some projects and I figured, hey, let's make some videos, get some content since I'm new here. But anyway, what I'm going to be showing you today, I'm getting ready for my spring markets. Um, I have market every Sunday. So I'm trying to figure out a way to, to mass produce a few things to have on hand to use for my journals. And I'll show you in my next video that I'll probably release today a, a project that I'm working on to do that as well. But with these, I'm going to be making uh, today these beautiful flower, excuse the cat hair. I would pick out one that has cat hair. Let's set that one to the side. Anyway, um these pretty little dangles or, or clusters, however you want to call them. Um, these are going to be perfect for sticking on pages and different things. I'll show you at the end the kind of things that I'm going to be using them for, maybe give you some ideas. But I figured I had a, a bunch of these paper flowers and I figured, what can I do with those? So I'm going to show you how. And as you can see, I have a whole like bunch of them I did these all within an hour so they're super easy to make I was watching something on TV and popped all of those out within an hour but what what you're gonna need today um, of course you're gonna need some scraps um, you can use any kind of scraps except I would not recommend using um, uh, just regular copy paper unless you're only planning to use these as like clusters or something the way I'm going to be using them they're going to be as like you know I want to be able to get the most out of it but anyway so I'm using heavier cardstock pattern cardstock and also just regular just just like little bits and pieces and of course with this you can use any kind of shape punch that you have I always have some on hand because I pay my lovely little assistant Rennie to cut these out for me so I stay stocked but if you don't have a lovely assistant you can do them quick and easy yourself we're gonna be um, using a variety of paper flowers and if you don't have paper flowers don't worry I'll show you other ways that you can use this pro uh, make these little tags of course I'm gonna be using some of my gems and let me just tell you, I have tons because every time Hobby Lobby um, has like a seasonal change, they usually always have corresponding little gemstones that match the colors of the season. So I always kind of stock up on those when I see them. Um, I don't say I won't say I just go crazy, but maybe I do go a little crazy. But I don't. I always save. For others I make sure that there's plenty for other people to get as well I'm gonna be using that um, you can possibly if you have stickle you can use that um, if you can use cheesecloth if you can't get cheesecloth then this is medical gauze and of course um, we're gonna be using some hole punches whatever kind of shape that you want we're gonna need some glue and today I'm actually going to be using some of these, um, I made a tutorial using and using papers, uh, busy papers on book page to make book pages. I'll link that video. I'll try to link that video below. But these were some of the off cuts that I had left from that video. So I made a, a, a master board. I don't really like this, you know, as a master board. So I'm going to cut it up today and see how it works with these dangles and another random little master board that I made when I first started crafting that has just been sitting there and I'm gonna see if I can utilize some of that as well all right guys well let's get started um, first let's punch some holes um, some shapes like I said you can use whatever shape you want if you don't already have any on on stock then you know just go ahead and grab what you're gonna use and I'm just gonna punch a few of these because I'm not going to make all of them. I'm not going to do a whole lot today. Just going to show you a few. But I wanted to do some more of these because they were so fun to make. 
and so easy and they work for so many things so and that's you know that's a beautiful thing when you can get it to work for you know take one thing and use it in many versatile ways all right all right so that's all i'm gonna do of that one and let's see Oops. Hmm, this is so crunchy because this now this one actually is a uh, copy paper but because i like oh my goodness because i put it like different book pages and different other things on top of it i mod podged like some napkins on it so it works because it now has a, a thicker uh cons you know texture but just regular flimsy little um paper is in my opinion won't work for what we're doing today unless i and unless like i said you're going to be using it for just for um clusters but anyway so that's the first step we got our shapes and of course i didn't bring my inking pad out and i'm not going to ink that but you can ink them as you please so this is what what i have right now actually let me go ahead and cut a couple of other little um pieces out um and then let's get some bigger ones and let's see because i want to show you another little process too if you don't have um like the flowers and the gemstones so anyway, you guys know how to cut up paper. I'm going to try a different shape as well and see how that works. All right, so this is what we have. Let's start with this one. Let's see how that would look together. Nope. Um, but what we can do is take a flower. That one's a little bit too big for that. So we'll come over here and get this flower. And get some glue right there in the center. And let's choose something that will go pretty in the middle of that. This, these are for the Easter and these, these are so pretty to me. Let me see if I can pick one. And they don't, the colors, you can go with like whatever color scheme you want. If you want the color to, you know, be matchy matchy, that's great. But if you, you know, if you're just sitting down in front of the TV and you, whatever gym you pick up, you just go with, that works too. And see how pretty that is already. All right, let's try. This is what I want to, um, well, we'll put a, a couple more of these together before I show you the other. I have ADHD, guys, so I skip around a lot to different things, but I try to stay as focused as possible. I got these uh, little ones from the Dollar Tree. They had some. And when you, if you can tell, like if you're using like a collage uh, photo, you can use them off to the side or, you know, you want to cover that. Be nice. If he had been in the center, I could have put that like a little bow on his head. But I'm going to put this one off to the side. So they don't all have to be centered just as long as you have space to poke a hole. That's another thing I forgot uh, to mention that you'll need is like a little hole punch in the top. But let's, let's keep going. Just want to show you how quick and easy these can be. So how are you guys this morning? I'm good. Just did my first shift at work. So I decided I'd come here 
and make a couple of little tutorials. Um, let's try. I'll try these on some of them. I think the little gemstones are so pretty. These little ones that I got from the Dollar Tree just so happen to already have like a little center. So I don't really have to do much to those. So we have ones with centers. You don't even have to add embellishments. Put that one there. And I think doing it with a collage paper really makes it, gives you a really interesting um, background. But here, let me show you what I wanted. Um, say for instance, now that you can see how quick and easy that is, here's an option for if you don't have, um, let's see, here's my scissors. If you don't have, like, you know, the flowers or whatever, you can always use a little bit of medical gauze. Most people can get this, you know, at your local pharmacy or whatever. And you can take this and take a large, larger pump punch let's do this one I'm gonna do this one and then we're just gonna feather this behind this one put a little glue here and then just add this one on top and if you don't have the gemstones I mean the flowers but you do have gemstones then just go ahead and pop a little you know with this one I'm going to add like a couple, but of course you don't have to. I find the busier the pattern is, the less bling you need for it. And of course my cat, Symphony, quit it. They always put on a performance when I get on camera. Like, stop. Just like children. They <laughs> know, know how to show their behinds. Oops. Had an explosion over here. But that's, that's always what happens in my crafting room. There's an explosion every time I start making stuff. And I know there's a little extra glue on there, but that'll dry. So we'll sit that one to the side and then let me show you one that you can do with like stickles. Now these flowers I found, they have like little slits in the middle. Um, so you, if you have brads, you could also use, if you have large brads, you could use those as well. All right. Actually, I think I said I was going to use stickle on that one, but actually I think I might want to layer I think that would be pretty. Oh, that is pretty. There's so many varieties that you can make, like, and no two have to look alike. But I did want to show you one that I'm gonna that I that you can do with stickles if you don't have anything else. And that is Create your own little gem for the center. Of course, you can't really use these as quickly as you could with the other ones. You'd have to let these sit aside and dry. But that's just as pretty. Doing it like that um, with the stickle. Sorry about that, guys. The beeping was my timer, um, as I mentioned in another video. My phone has almost 
zero storage. So I have to keep watch on how long my videos are and then edit blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so we're back and I have a few more that I'm going to do on my desk. And of course you can just, as I say, you can do these however you want to, as you can already see with the ones that I have here, the possibilities are endless. Like they say at CC's Pizza. So I'll just work in silence for a little bit and, and do a couple of more here. Okay, so that looks like all the pieces of paper that I've cut up on my desk. And I'll just show you really quick. Oh, wait. I didn't add a gemstone to these. Look at me thinking I was finished. <laughs> and this one here. Another cold one. Got glue sticking to my hands as usual. All right, I think I've glued something to the center of each one. And as you can see, just within those few minutes that we've been here on um, this video, I've created all of these and no two 
look like. Can you guys see that? Like, and just imagine if you spend an hour doing this, how many you could pop out just by punching some holes and having a little bit of extra embellishments. Uh, I'll show you really quickly some of the ones that I did up close. That one's kind of fun. Looks like to me a five on a dice. But that's layering two uh, different sizes of uh, cutouts. And this can now is a simple cluster. Um, all of these are actually simple clusters. You can use them as charms. You can use them as clusters. I was experimenting um, on on a few pieces. I even like the way that one turned out. And that's using uh, two pieces. Um, and I used that one because one of them had, when I was cutting the circles, it got one of the like straight sides on it. And I was trying to see how I could hide that. But even that turned out to be really cute. So you could, on purpose, use two and build them up. You could build them up into like bigger clusters. Um, then here's a different one that I tried um, by using just a, a, a irregular shape. I mean, of course, you can glue this in and cut that or however you want to do it. But even layering it like that, now that'll be a pretty little tag. Here's one that we uh, made with stickle um, in the center of the flower instead of a gem. And then we've got some, you know, this one. Right here, I put the flower off-centered and then added a little gemstone on the side of it. And then just, so you can play around with this any kind of way that you want. Oh, also while I was waiting on my um, first video to do what it was doing, I created this one with stickle, just with stickle. And once that dries, that'll be pretty to hang on as a tag or add to a bigger embellishment. But anyway, let me show you some of the ways that I would use these. You, I brought my whole clip, um, but you can take them and just simply put like a little hole in the top. You can add these to a piece of fabric. Or you can add them, you can just keep them by themselves. But for this video, I'm just going to put this one on, thread it on with a piece of fabric. Just so you can see how you can embellish it and add extra little details. Now that would be pretty, hanging off of a page. Or you could take um, a paper clip. Um, let me see, what did I do with my paper clip? I know I put a paper clip up here just for the video. And of course, it's not visible. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Eh. Well, okay, well, I don't know where it is, but I did one before the video started, so I'm going to show you this one. What I did was I just took it and threaded it on a paper clip. And that's why I was saying if you use like heavier paper, then you can do a lot more with um, your things as opposed to just being able to use them as clusters that you have to glue down to a page. So this one's kind of a thick one and so that allows it to be threaded like on a paper clip and like the bowl pins. Um, let's see, you could use these as embellishments on the actual journal cover. Like if you wanted to add something simple like that or add it to the top, of course it kind of bleeds in with this one, but that's just to give you an idea. If you wanted to open it up and um, put it on a page as like a little tab, you can add it there as a sticking out tab. You could add it as a cluster anywhere on the page. And these are little journals. I'll, I'm going to show you in my next video what I'm doing with these. But let's see. And so that's just, you know, a, that's just a few. Oh, one more thing. I sometimes make these already pre-made like a uh, paper clip <clears throat> out of circle and that you know and I kind of just have them on hand if I want to decide to glue something on and make a quick little paper clip then I already have those handy so using something like this along with these you just pop that on there really quick and you've got a an altered paper clip quick and easy actually this is probably not the color I want to use um Mm, let's try this one. 
And look at how quick and simple that is. And when that dries, you got a pretty little paper clip. But anyway, I hope that you guys have fun making these. I'm going to pour out all the ones that I made before really quick just to give you an idea of what you might be able to accomplish. Well, what I know you can accomplish in an hour because it is so busy over here. And if I can sit still for an hour and accomplish this, I know you guys can too. But look at all that beautiful, just quick and easy little things that you can use for so many projects but anyway guys i'm gonna end the video here thank you again for watching me oh look at that pretty one <laughs> thank you again for watching my videos um thank you for my subscribers for being here and welcome new ones if you guys are new here please consider uh subscribing i am a new uh channel but i will be trying to make more and more videos because i do enjoy it but most of my videos will be coming out uh, roughly between Monday and Tuesday because that's when I have a little extra time. I do homeschool, I work, market, all that kind of stuff. So it is quite busy around here. But those days, I we have meatless Monday, so I don't have as much prep to do on Monday. So it's a little easier for me to find time. But anyway, thank you again for watching this video. Hope.